Hello, my name is uh, Jose Luis Rojo. I'm a principal software consultant for DBA in Spain. And uh, today I'd like to, to present you Control M Output Management, uh, also known as uh, Control D. Uh, Control M Output Management or Control D is the BMC solution to securely collect, uh, distribute, and archive uh, reports uh, from multiple, multiple platforms. Uh, Control D automat automatically collects, uh, store, and distributes reports generated on different systems and authorizes uh, users. Uh, can access to the reports from a 3270 base interface or from any standard web browser with a Control D web access. Uh, this is our agenda uh, for today. We'll talk uh, about uh, the output management challenges, uh, the how to access uh, our reports, uh, how does uh, Control D works, the architecture, the benefits, and the conversion tool uh, to change uh, the output management tools in your company to control D. These are the main challenges in output management. The amount of information is growing and uh, we store it on many media types uh, for long periods. Some information must be retained for 10 to 20 years due to legal reasons or requirements. And uh, finally, we have uh, a huge amount of information stored on different media types uh, for many years. To complicate matters, uh, this information uh, comes in multiple formats and it's uh, generally uh, generated on a variety of, of platforms. Uh, we also need to distribute information in different ways um, um, formats uh, by email, printing, a viewing, a local storage, and some more. And the most important thing, uh, we must provide uh, secure and immediate access to, to users. Uh, as you can see from this, uh, there are many challenges ahead. Control D uh, automates the life cycle of uh, your documents. Once Control D captures a report, Authorized users, backups, storage movements, and expiration time parameters are set. And Control D will perform all tasks automatically for each document. With Control D, from our web browser, we can view documents in different formats that may have been generated on multiple platforms. Keep in mind that if you use the 3270 interface, we will only be able to view text documents due to system limitations, as it does not support a graphic mode. We can view documents and job executions outputs from different systems. Even if we are viewing mainframe job outputs, we can also access output through its different DD names and view the CCN data. All data will be compressed and securely stored on mainframe and can be encrypted to increase uh, security. But uh, Control Deep uh, will provide us with many more functionalities like uh, uh, convert uh, documents to Excel or PDF, email delivery, emailing a report with a link or, or an attachment. Uh, we can also do a document subscription so that users uh, can subscribe to documents uh, to be notified with each new version. Users can create uh, logical views uh, to view the document uh, as, uh, as they prefer uh, without the original document being modified. Uh, they can search also in multiple documents at the same time and uh, many other features. We'll, we will see some of them in detail below. Here uh, we can see how it works. Documents and job outputs are generated on different systems and formats. And uh, Control D uh, collected storage in a compressed uh, format, assigning the security and distribution parameters. After this step, uh, documents are ready for viewing from web or 32.7 terminals, TSO, Kix or VTAM. Later, reports can be grouped and sent by email to, to a file or printed. 
this is the, the full picture for for the general functions. Now we'll see the, the web user interface. This part of the solution is very important because it's the end user front end and end users need something intuitive with all needed functions. This is the login screen uh, to access uh, the, the information. Users uh, can select the language, uh, interface and filter reports to view different to view uh, in different ways if desired. And this is the main screen, an easy interface where users can view, save, uh, print uh, to local, search, view notes and some other operations. This screen only shows reports authorized for, for the, the logged user. Here uh, we are viewing a text document. A user can change the font size, subscribe to document, email or use a logical view to adapt his view to, to his preference. Documents can be indexed for, for quick access and users can print only specific indexes. It's not necessary to, to print the, the full or the, or the entire document. We can also create the notes at report level or at record level to share comments uh, with our teams. Uh, note that uh, report, uh, reports can never be modified. All notes and logical views are stored uh, separately. Here uh, we can view a report level note uh, with creation date, uh, time and, and user. And here we have a record level note. Uh, record level notes are shown as hyperlink inside the report and then the users can access to different hyperlinks and view the, the record notes. If you prefer, you can also use icons to mark uh, different uh, reports or records. Remember that the, the master report never changes. Now we'll see a simple logical view. Uh, sometimes uh, different users need uh, different data from the same report. In this case, uh, users can create uh, logical views uh, to tailor the, the report view to fit uh, the, the needs. Users uh, can arrange uh, columns, delete uh, unneeded records, comments, and change the colors for uh, specific records, or use uh, some other functions to, to tailor the, the report the report view uh, as they want. In this way, users can easily view and obtain the, the desired information. Again, please note that the, the original report uh, does not change and any report uh, may, may have uh, several logical views. Sometimes users uh, need uh, the report information to create uh, an Excel spreadsheet. In this case, uh, users uh, can create a logical view and convert uh, the report automatically into a spreadsheet. And uh, the user will be able to download, uh, download the, the report in a spreadsheet format. A control D can manage uh, documents in multiple formats. Uh, some documents uh, may be originally in PDF format and others in different formats uh, such as uh, text, IBM, AFP, Xerox and others. Uh, some companies uh, prefer to convert uh, some documents to PDF uh, for standardization or uh, security reasons. Uh, Control D can convert uh, documents to PDF on the mainframe or on the distributed system side. Most of the companies use uh, Control D functionality to convert reports to PDF on the fly on the distributed system side. With this option, uh, documents are converted to, to PDF on a distributed machine when it's uh, requested by the user for viewing on the fly. Uh, regular re reports uh, can be viewed uh, or converted to PDF 
as the the user request on the display screen as we have been uh, we, we have seen in in previous slides here we can view an IBM AFP document converted uh, to PDF on the fly with uh, the the different fonts and the the, the signs and every, everything Previous view was from a document uh, converted uh, to PDF and this is an original PDF document view. There are no differences as you can see. Another interesting function is uh, to search uh, several text reports at uh, the same time, uh, saving time to, to find uh, something in different reports. As we mentioned before, reports uh, can be sent by email, as an attachment or as an URL. Sending reports uh, by URL is the recommended uh, method uh, to save uh, bandwidth and for security reasons. When the, the destination users receive the URL, they must be an authorized user to view their, their report. And now is demo time. Uh, let's see a brief demo of uh, how users uh, access the, their reports. Now let's move to our demo environment. Here is the login screen for, for, for the web access. We can introduce our user and our password. Here we have uh, more options to, to choose. If we want to, to change the language, the user has a list of languages uh, to choose from. And when we log in, we'll have our uh, report fi filter report window. We can filter by report name or by job name, category, indexes, remarks, and uh, we can also filter by date and, and time or we can even uh, filter by report format. When we use uh, some filters often, we can save uh, those filters uh, for a quick access uh, later in, in the next logins. If we uh, apply, here we have the, the main screen. We, we can filter again if we want, or we can cancel filters. And uh, in the main screen, we have several icons. The first one is the notes icon and we have also the, the index uh, icon. These are the, the reports with this icon uh, has indexes and the reports with notes has this, this icon. Uh, for example, we can access uh, through indexes to a report. Here we, we are accessing to directly to the report and uh, we can change the, the font size if we want. We can print uh, the report in the, our local printer or centralize it. We can add notes or we can view indexes. If we go back to the report list, um, we can access also to the report from, from the main screen and we can access directly to the indexes. For example, if we, we want to, to view the, 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 the names of this report, this is a, a, a mainframe job output, but the indexes may, may, may be declared in, in, several, in several ways. For example, a typical index is a, a report ID or a customer ID or, or some identifier, a specific identifier for, for the, the record. In this case, for mainframe, the, the job, mainframe jobs uh, has uh, different DD names, and this is very useful to access directly to the specific DD names. Uh, for example, if you want to access to the, the JCL DD name, we can access directly from here. As uh, you, can, you can see, we can open several windows. 
with different reports or with different views of the same report. Here's the, the, the full report. From this part, we can also access to indexes. If we want to view a different report, here we can choose the, the report and uh, from here we can also view the report as uh, PDF or as uh, Excel. We can print the report, we can save, email or we can use advanced tools to, to se select, select different reports and unify as PDF. We can search in multiple reports. And we have uh, some more options uh, for the report, viewing as log with lo a logical view or viewing notes. In this case, we are accessing directly to the report. Here we can view the, the report. Again, we can print, we can save. For example, we can view notes, report notes. There are some notes. We can add some more notes if we want to the same report and the, the rest of the team can view the, these notes. If we want to, to add uh, some icons, we can also add icons to the report if we want. For example, we can add uh, checks or we, we can add, add, uh, add X or question marks or whatever we want. We can delete the, the icons if we want. And uh, in this case, this is a full report. There are several, several lines, several, several pages. But we want to change the, the view of this report. Then we are viewing with a, a logical view to change the, 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 the appearance of the, the report. We can change from different logical views we have for this report. In this case, uh, the, the report header is fixed and uh, now we have uh, marked, marked uh, in yellow the, the header and uh, we have marked in red several records great, greater than 100 and uh, for records uh, greater than 1000 we have added a yellow yellow background to to uh, to uh, remark this here we can view that uh, we have a a record uh, note for this specific item we can view the the record note If we, can, if, we, if we want to print the, the report, we can print the report with the, the regular view or we can view with a, logic, a, speci a specific logical view if we want. And even if we want to email the, the, the report, we can use the, the URL. We can use our specific uh, logical view. We can send the report as an attachment or we can send as a URL and uh, if we go back we can choose a different report from here uh, here we have the the three the three navigation window if the, the the user has access to different destinations here we can view all the destinations in this case this user has uh, several access to different destinations and he can move through the different destinations. And again, if we want to filter, we can filter again from dif these different destinations. And that's all. Really, really easy and really intuitive. Let's go back to our presentation. Continuing our presentation, now uh, let's see the, the access from the, the from a mainframe 3270 screen. Uh, you can work from this environment and uh, with this interface, but our recommendation, of course, is uh, to work from your web browser. 
uh, you will not uh, need to install a 3270 emulator on your machine uh, you will not need uh, mainframe knowledge uh, and uh, of course uh, you you'll have uh, a better user experience in this case uh, this is the filter skin a screen uh, you are you are searching for job names starting with a CUST and this is the, the report screen we have uh, several uh, job names with the CUST uh, prefix and uh, here we have in the remark the, the completion, uh, completion code or return code these are uh, job, job outputs mainly and uh, we have the, the execution output uh, return code we want to access through indexes and again this is a mainframe job and uh, we are viewing several DD names and we can access uh, to some of these DD names if the report contains uh, uh, user records or, or customer records the index may be the customer ID or the user ID or, what, or whatever we want to, to use like, like a, an index and this will be the the, the report itself. As you can view, the, the return code was uh, 01, as, as we, uh, see, we, we view in the previous remark. And uh, going back uh, to our demo environment, now uh, we'll go to, to our 3270 uh, demo system to view the, the demo this is the filter screen we can access directly or we can filter by report name, user, date, job name or whatever we want we, we can also change the display type in this case we are viewing all the reports we have uh, here you can see the different reports we have uh, auditor reports and production reports for example we can access this uh, JCL output we, are, we, we can view the, the report directly of course and we can search or we can do whatever we want or we can access through indexes this is the, the main index, job name, and uh, these are the daily names. For example, if we want to, to view the, the DA report, this is the output of, of this report. If we want back, we can view more reports. We don't have any specific uh, user report with uh, uh, customer index or something like that, but uh, it's uh, already the, it's, it's almost the, the, the same. As you can see, this is an easy easy way to, to view the report, but uh, from the web access perspective, you have a graphic interface and it's uh, more attractive than this one. Let's move back to our presentation. If you are a Control M user, uh, you can also access uh, Control D Web from Control M Web. Uh, from Monitor Screen or from the Archive Search options, you can easily access to job information inside uh, Control D Web. Here we can see how to access from Monitoring Screen. If you haven't uh, logged in to Control D, then the login screen appears and uh, later uh, you'll see, you'll, you can see your, your job. If you are in, in the Control and Web Archive Search, you can use uh, from Archive Search, you can use the Control D option, and then um, this option will bring you to, to the Control D job you are looking for. These options facilitate uh, the integration between Control and Web and Control D Web Access. Now that we know uh, what Control D is, let's see how it works.
The Control M Output Management Suite is a group of uh, fully integrated software solutions. Here we can see all uh, its components. Names are just uh, to get familiar with uh, this solution, but uh, they work in an integrated way. In an integrated way, and the users uh, doesn't need to know about it. Control D is an end-to-end -end report management solution that captures reports, analyze them to assign owners and report lifecycle parameters. Distributes the information, stores and manages report life, and provides access to authorized users. All of this, regardless of source data, format, platform, and storage medium. This is an outline uh, to understand how it works. All information in different formats from the different systems is captured by Control D report missions. Control D report missions uh, set the authorizations and uh, the lifetime parameters. Once the report mission is executed, the report is ready for viewing, distributing, uh, distributing and backup. Some of you may also be familiar with our Control M archiving solution. Archiving and Control D have several points in common, but they are different solutions. Let's review the main difference. Archiving only captures the outputs of jobs executed under Control M. And for mainframe jobs, archiving only captures the job output sysdata, the, the, the three first uh, yes, sysout uh, outputs. Archiving uh, only capture job outputs and Control D can capture any document from any platform, including complete uh, job outputs executed under any scheduler or user. Another difference is that archiving stores information in a distributed system database and uh, Control D uh, stores it in, uh, in a mainframe database. And uh, one more difference is that uh, archiving only allows text viewing and Control D Web Access allows viewing graphical documents in various formats from Control D Web Access. There are more differences, but uh, we have mentioned the most important ones, ones to simplify it. Now uh, let's talk about uh, benefits. Control D provides uh, quick and easy access uh, to information and facilitates uh, the automatic management of uh, company documents. Uh, this allows us uh, to increase productivity and improve uh, the, the security of our information. It also helps us uh, to save uh, CPU and storage cost using SIP uh, processors in mainframe and compressing stored store data. Control D uh, web also facilitates and simplifies access, providing an easy and intuitive interface for all users and helping them in their daily work uh, with multiple, multiple functions. Finally, we will briefly discuss the Control D conversion. Control D proven conversion tools uh, from other output management solutions are available and uh, our experienced uh, consulting service department uh, provides uh, successful conversion projects. Of course, uh, as you can see, all, all our conversion tools are fully documented. Control M output management is the best uh, solution to automate uh, report management in your company. I hope uh, this presentation has been useful and uh, thank you very much uh, for your attention.